Hello my friends and welcome to our Blindish Let's Play Valkyrie Profile Planet for the PS5. My name is Flatless Bird, this is your Soybeast Gaming Channel, and today, today we begin a game that I have been wanting to play for a very, very long time. I've only actually ever played through it completely once, and that was Almost with high. the true ending. So yes. I don't want to get scolded by mother again. We're going to play through with all three endings this time though. And I'm just, I, I'm just ready. I, I'm so excited. So, so very excited to have Valkyrie Profile. Oh man, this game still looks beautiful. This is the remaster of the PSP remaster. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm just really excited to be playing this game. It looks beautiful. Your clothes, are they? Oh. Watch where you're going, girl. Eat How that. dare you splash water on a guest? She, she, she didn't do anything wrong, you, you witch. Forgive me. Mother, who were those men? It's none of your business. You have work to do now. Hurry up and grab your bucket. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I probably remember like 5% of this game. Yeah, that's probably true. going on do you know what time it is shh be quiet platina we've got to run come now hurry what are you talking about lucian listen to me your mother and father they They've sold you. Horrible parent. You little thief. What are you doing to my daughter? Come on. Just takes her right out the window. Run away. I tried to play this game like a year or two ago, and I wanted to get the emulation. But this game is almost impossible to emulate. Like Let's this scene here. I want to go home. It's impossible. It just looks horrible. So I How never played it. Say that? I haven't heard anything from Mother about this. Are you sure this isn't all a misunderstanding about being sold? No, I don't think it's a misunderstanding. I think she's really that much of a, you know what? She must be so worried about me right now. Yeah, she's worried about all the money she's losing now. Lucian. You've seen the men in black, haven't you? Men in black. They've come to my house too. It's a second reference to a men in black in a game we're playing. Like 13 Sentinels. And the next day, my little sister was gone. 13 Sentinels says Men in Black as well. Oh. My mom and dad didn't tell me anything. Poor Lucian. What? But everyone said she was stricken with a disease. Yeah, I don't think that's actually what happened. Oh? Have you ever heard of a disease that makes you disappear? Mm-hmm. Anyway, our family has no money for doctors. All the dots, yeah. Jeez. I just don't want to lose you. Lucian. I don't understand how. Then let's run away, far away. How, how parents anywhere with you, Lucian. Can do this to their children. 
Oh, that's so sweet. Aww. Giving her his coat. Yeah, can you believe this is a PlayStation 1 original game? I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Where do you think we are? I don't know. This looks pretty rough. What will become of us now? Yeah. I'm trying to stay strong for her. By the way, if you hear any explosions in the background while I'm playing, uh, I'm recording this on New Year's Day. Or New Year's Eve, actually. Where? So, Happy New Year's to you all. If you're watching this when it goes live. Hope it's you have a so wonderful beautiful. 2023. Do if it's not 2023, be... I hope you're just having a wonderful day regardless. Heaven? Such a pretty scene. Aw, look at her twirl. It's bad luck to say such things. <laughs> I'm sorry. These flowers, they're... Well, that doesn't look good. Platina, we've got to get out of here. These flowers, all of them, they're... Weeping lilies. Weeping lilies? Are those like poppies right. from? If we stay here, their poison will kill us. Yeah, it's like poppies from uh, what Oz? Platina. If I were to fall asleep here, would I be able to just slip away? Oh no! You have so much to live for. That's the one who loves you. W what? I can't stand it any longer, no matter how hard I've tried. Mother and father have never treated me with kindness. If you care about me so much, Lucian, do you think? Yes, yes, this game. Like I said, this. I'm so glad to have known you, Lucian. But I have too many awful memories. I just want to forget, forget it all. No. Oh. Oh. No! Wake up! I won't have it! You want to forget? Would you forget me too, Platina? Man, that prologue is just oh, ho, ho, ho. and uh, it, it 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 doesn't get any easier after this as well. This is this is a very emotional game, that is for sure. We can play on three difficulties: easy, normal, and hard. We're always gonna play on hard. 
And the reason is because if you look at the advantages you get, the item type, the dungeon, the characters, and the possible endings, that outweighs the experience problem of having few, expo few experience points and all characters starting at level one. You can always grind a little bit more to get yourself past those uh, stopping points. But having more dungeons, that's only available on hard. Having all the items, only available on hard. Having all the characters, only available on a hard. And of course, easy basically is the opposite of hard. Uh, if you want to fly through the game as quick as you can, play on easy. Uh, there are three endings game, A, B, and C. A is the true ending. And in order to get the A ending, you have to do a bunch of things the game doesn't want you to do. So it's impossible to get unless you have some sort of guide with you, which I will be using in order to get the A ending. Uh, the B ending is basically do everything like you're supposed to do in the game and you get the B ending. Uh, the C ending is you fail. It's basically game over. Uh, as for everything we do in this game, or this channel, I should say, we will be getting every ending. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Church bells are ringing. A bride and an altar? Memories, perhaps. Or dreams. How nostalgic. So now we have the uh, the um, credits, along with beautiful music as Lenneth walks along the grasslands. I, I talked about this a little in our channel update video, but a couple years ago, when the Plutless Birds YouTube channel was starting, I I had a I had a vision of a channel called the RPG Renaissance. And that's why if you look at my email, it's rpgrenaissance7 at gmail.com. Because originally I wanted to make a channel devoted entirely to games that have remasters, sequels, remakes, spiritual successors, or RPGs that need a remaster, a remake, or a spiritual successor, or so on. And I was only going to play games on the channel that were RPGs that met that criteria. And this this game here was the first game that was at the top of my list. But I couldn't really find this game because the game is super expensive. Like if you want to buy this game online, it's, you know, easily $150, $200. And uh, I, I don't have that money. So I never could buy it for the PlayStation 1. And to, to have this game here now, I, I'm I, I'm so excited to be playing with you. Welcome to Valhalla. Hi, Frey. You seem as if you're waiting for someone. Aww. Of course. Look at that I've smile. Been waiting for you, 
planet. I've been waiting since my sister Freya told me you were coming back. Has it been that long? Are you well? Yes! Oh, Lord Odin is waiting for you within. Of course. We will speak later, Frey. And of course, to finish the story, um, the RPG Renaissance just became me, the flightless bird. Thanks to Shenda Primus for uh, giving me that name, by the way. This should just always go by the name Penguin. <laughs> and uh, that's how the channel started. Since I wasn't going to focus entirely just on RPGs, um, I branched out since then. You know, we play RPGs, adventure games, choice based, visual novels. And I've had the time of my life in the last two and a half years. It has just been absolutely tremendous to be with you all, the number one YouTube comedian, all of YouTube. I love you guys so very much. Love how she just I am here, Lord Odin, levitates. She looks so cool. And the green is great. Hi, Freya. You have no need to kneel before us like a dweller in Midgard. I understand. Getting all the love today, it's wonderful. I rejoice to see you again. You have been missed. And you. Lenith Valkyrie. I would not summon you, the greatest of the three goddesses who govern destiny, without good cause. Yes, my lord. The head of Mimir has told me that Ragnarok, the end of the world, draws near. Ragnarok? The end of the world in Norse mythology. There have been signs of unrest among the Vanir of late. Not to confuse with God of War, Ragnarok. It seems that we, the Aesir, will not be able to avoid war with them. journey to Midgard, the world below, and search for suitable human souls. It is my honor, Lord, to serve you. I expect great things from you. Very well, then. Freya? Yes, my Lord. Remember this? Oh, that's beautiful. I don't think I ever played the uh, PSP version, and they added a kind of a ton of cutscenes. Can't stay. You have but recently awakened, and it would be unkind of me to send you alone. And down we go. So that's basically the uh, the story of the game. Is Ragnarok is approaching, and we need to find good warriors to send to Odin to fight in the final battle. This is the human world. Yes, the lower world in Midgard, where souls wander about, locked in cages of flesh. Does it remind you of anything? 
Not particularly. I have never seen this world before. I see. Then let us go. Go where? It is time for me to teach you about who you are and what your world is. Yeah, I really wish this game was fully voice acted because the voice actors are amazing. But it's okay. Get struck by Frey and the powers of the Falcon. Do you hear something? What do you mean? You have a power that is yours alone. Close your eyes and open your heart. Concentrate and listen. You will understand. Press start to begin spiritual concentration. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, that's the option button. Oh, got a rewind function? Kind of weird. I've seen that in a game before. Uh, a load in a save and a settings. Oh, okay. Wrong start button. Artolia. Yes. Do you hear it? What is this? That is your power. The power to hear the sorrow, anger, and hopes of humans near death. The power to hear their souls cry out. It is your task to find the souls of those chosen departed within yourself. I am to search amongst the souls of the departed for those worthy to become heroes. Yes, that is why. That is why what? Let us go. If we go even closer, you will be able to synchronize the soul with theirs. Then you will understand more. Human souls? Take them into myself? Iron Grim, help them out, won't you? God, the music of this game is just top notch. Like, it, it, there's a top notch, it's above that top notch. This beast is tough. Ah. Nuisance, out of my way. Let me assist you. Alright, so the cool thing about this game is it's an action-based thing. So, I hit square, and then he attacks, I hit X, and then he attacks. And as I get more attacks, I can combo those together. I love the combat system in this game, it's really, really good. Unfortunately, we only have one attack, so getting through this guy's defense is not as easy. But considering it's a uh, tutorial fight, it should go pretty smoothly. And it's toast. Welcome home, brother. Whoa, are you okay? Yeah, just sit down. You're still drawing that stuff. Art is more than just that stuff. If you can't sell it, what's the point? I don't do it for money. Hmm. Whatever. 
Brother, it's different. Different than war, where you just kill people. What? I don't fight for money. I'm a mercenary because I enjoy it. Same as you, right? I don't give a dang about expressing myself or whatever. Say, Roland, what's fun about making art anyway? You think it's foolish, brother, because you're content with what you have. Huh. For me, drawing pictures has always been a fine way for me to escape the confines of this frail body of mine. I'm sorry, brother. I know that part of the reason you fight is to support me. Oh, leave the money here. That statue? It's a present from His Highness. They give it to the guy who kills the most people in battle. Princess! It is unseemly for such a lovely young princess who will be one day rule of the country to lose her temper in such a disgraceful manner. Silence, Lombat! I will not stand here silently and accept abuse from the likes of you! We cannot allow such behavior from a Polish mercenary! Princess Yolanda! You need not concern yourself with regards to this matter, Princess. I will take care of everything. I also don't remember if it's Yolanda or Jolanda. Hopefully they voice act her sometime so I can get her proper pronunciation. Thanks to your meritori meritorious efforts, the barbarians have been driven back. I salute you all. And among you, I believe, is the greatest warrior of all, Sir Arngrim. Hmm. To you, I present a cash bonus and this statue. Although I'm sure mercenary taste is no different than that of a barbarian. Oh, roasted! How delightful! I thank you from the bottom of the gaping void in my soul. You think this makes everything all right? Everyone's cheering and they're having this contentious back and forth here. This cheap little statue is nothing but a lie. <laughs> You're such a feeble little king. What? What are you? I don't have time for this farce. The statue looks a lot like you, don't you think? Huh? Father! Oh. Don't waste my time with this garbage. You ungrateful brute! To subject my father to such barbarism! Ten thousand deaths are not enough for you! Guards, take him! Yeah, no one wants to mess with this guy. What are you doing? That arrogant lout. There must be some way that I can get him. Let me think. I've got it.
It's been a long time since you hung around the house all day, huh? Probably no one wants to hire me after doing what I did to the king. Just sit down and relax. Do you want something? Aren't you... I mean... Might you be Sir Angrim? Uh, yeah. That's right. I am... I mean... <clears throat> my name is... Um... Um... Jet... La, um... um uh, Jilla? Yeah, no, I, I mean, no, Jilla, uh, um. My name is Angela. Hmm. Mm. And uh, what do you want from me, Lady Angela? I came to offer you a job. Hmm, are you serious? You got time, so why not talk to her? Uh. So, where are we going? Let's go to, uh, one of those, um, restaurants. Do you know of any fine establishments? Hmm, well, this place over here is about as fine as it gets in Atolia. Now Low Garden, the only gourmet Yamato-style restaurant in Artolia. It's promise to the citizens of the continent is a taste experience many Westerners find rather bizarre. May I take your order? I have no idea. Well, let's see, uh, I'll, I'll take this, and this, and, um, this. And what would you like to drink? Um, well, uh, 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 this, this, and this, and, uh, uh, one of those two? <laughs> hey, are you really gonna eat all that stuff? Why would I? I'll just have what I want, and, uh, eat the rest. Uh, sure is like a thousand food and a thousand drinks. So, uh, who is it you wanted to hire me for? Why don't we talk while we eat? 30 minutes later? Wow, that's really fast food. For that much. Call your manager! Huh? I said, call your manager! <laughs> Don't act like such a spoiled little princess. Uh, it's something not to your liking, miss. <laughs> All of the expressions. Look at those eyes. Not to my liking, you say? What is this meat? It's raw! Uh, but miss, that is called sashimi. It's a classic Yamato cuisine. And what's this cloudy soup? It smells awful and must be rotten. Uh, miss, uh, that's an absolute staple of Yamato cuisine, miso soup. <laughs> Argo just like someone kill me now. And what about this? It's a monster! You're trying to make me eat baby krakens! What, calamari? But miss, that's just plain octopus, okay? <laughs> you serve monsters here? I assure you, miss, I uh. I have never been so insulted in my entire life! Ah! Now my throat is parched! <laughs> what kind of water is this? 
Are you trying to poison me? How dare you! Ten thousand deaths are not enough for you! Oh my god, she's... <laughs> Just falls over. Uh, your bill, sir. Oh, great. Yeah, someone killed me too. Save game? Absolutely. Here's I can do this at any time that I want, but I probably will try to refrain from that and just play it the way the game was meant to be played. Uh, so that means no of this rewind feature. I, I may use the rewind if I like miss a line of dialogue. That's a good idea. But otherwise, if I make a mistake, it's going to be a mistake. So this happened before you could hear what you wanted. Yeah. I mean, use a rewind feature. You could like cheat the game. It would be really unfair. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Ugh. Princess y Yolanda. What's going on? Will. I know she came here in disguise to hire me for a job. She's very proud. Da. Huh? Tugging into sleep, eh? Da. Hmm. Bell Oathbreaker. Ten thousand deaths are not enough for you. Hmm, so that's it. I understand now. I insulted that girl's father right in front of her. Of course, I didn't mean to. I just wanted to show what a gutless coward the king is. What I did wasn't wrong. can't help but love and honor her own father. Is there any child that would not feel anger at seeing their sire made a fool of? I love that. I love how it, it makes sense why she's doing what she's doing, you know? Where am I? It's already evening. Yeah, it is. By the way, there's no way I can even come close to doing the professional voice actors. I'm just going to do the best I can. I have to go. Oh, is it okay if I come back tomorrow to make my offer? Yeah, sure. A job offer. Huh. Probably some sort of revenge for what I did to her father. When she comes tomorrow, I'll apologize to her. It's a good thing to do. Hey, you're late. So, what's your offer this time? It's short notice, but I need you to help another man deliver. What? Give me a break. You're wasting my time for that. Come on. The pay is top price, so will you take it? Uh, dangerous cargo, eh? Well, I'll take it. When I want 5000 my price is double. Fine. It's a deal. Are you serious? Well, I guess if you say so. By the way, who's the other guy you got me teamed up with? You'll meet soon enough. <laughs> I don't know what that guy's up to. As long as I get my money, I could care less. 
It's got a much higher pitch than I gave him. The next day, I was like this. He's more like, well, I was like this. Yes. I don't know if I can do this, so I'll we'll see how it goes. All right, what's up, Arthur? The princess isn't coming, is she? Probably not. But if you think about the princess being out of the castle, yeah, I suppose. If she keeps seeking out, she's going to get her attendants executed. Yeah. Some conversational list. <laughs> Where are we going from here? Go back to the uh, the restaurant. All right, residence. Lately, many, many ill omen things have been happening in Artolia. You know what's interesting is I remember a little about Valkyrie Profile 1. Not enough to call it. I mean, I remember enough to say this is not a blind playthrough, and I will be using someone to get the eight endings. Obviously, it's not blind. Um, but I don't remember a whole lot of Silmaria, the second game. Like, I'm trying to think right now what happened in the second game, and I... I can't recall... I can't recall anything about it. So, yeah, I'm really excited to be playing this series. All we can do now is pray. If the Ville no army comes this way, the whole town will be wiped out. And in between, uh, Leneth and Samaria, I will be playing a... a different game. And uh, I will be posting a community poll for you all to vote on uh, what game we're going to be playing in between these two games. The other day, I opened a treasure chest and some poisonous gas shot at me. Luckily, I was crouching down. So it didn't do anything except give me a big scare. Okay, so when we open up treasure chest, if we see poisonous gas come out, duck. Good to know. I think we just had to run around town and talk to everyone and then go back. Good day. Because I don't think anything happens outside of this area. This first episode will also be really, really long, by the way. How kind of you to visit, old man. Why don't you stay for tea and I'll tell you about my grandkids. Oh, uh, yeah, stay a while and listen. Because I want to get through, you know, the first dungeon and the first major storyline today. I wonder what lilac means in the language of flowers. Bah, who cares about flowers anyway? We head up here? Yeah. I think this is back to his house. Oh, there is one thing I remember about the sequel, and that's the combat system's a little bit different because you have, uh, like freedom on the, the map on how you attack enemies. But yeah, that's basically all I remember. Brother, you have a visitor. That's not Jolanda. It's probably Jolanda, so she said Jella, right? I need to speak with you. It's the agent that was speaking to the other guy. Huh. Is this about a job? Yeah. Did you take it? I leave tomorrow morning. You'll be alone again for a few days. And what about the princess? Cancel. Probably. Well, this is something of a surprise. My partner is going to be you then, eh? <sighs> ah, don't give me that. I need some bad back. It's nice to meet you, Arngrim. I've heard all about you. If you must engage in such meaningless battle, do it on the road. The cargo must be delivered. Hey, yes, ma'am. Vilnor was about a week's journey away along the Great Road. But the journey was uneventful, and by the third day, we were halfway there. Like I said, the voices are so good. So Hmm. 
Yeah. Ah, Lambert. Lambert, Artulia's chief counselor. You mean it wasn't the agent who hired us? Hey, bodyguard, somebody's coming up behind you. What? Knights, and lots of them. Knights? I think I missed the line that Badrick said at the beginning. Dust looked to have been kicked up by a group of Altorian cavalry. I don't know how that happened. It seemed like they were chasing something, but, but anyway. I never imagined it was us. We got knights after us. More important things on our mind. Halt! Surrender your cargo for inspection. Hey, hold up! never should have agreed to take that package without knowing what was inside. It just wasn't like me. And inside? Those are the ones. These are the ones. Uh, let's get out of here. Hey, hold on a sec. It's Jolanda. Our parcel. The princess. It was that little tomboy princess. Jolanda. Okay, it is Jolanda. All right. Good to know. Eh, it looks like we'll have to wait till dawn. No, nah, to wait till night and run. Hmm. Dang that Lombard! He totally screwed this! You filthy... You knew? No. I didn't know what was in the dang thing. It's just... My, uh, client was Lombard like always, and, uh... <sighs> Did those soldiers know that Lombard? Eh? No way, it can't be. That guy's a villain or a spy, you know? What? Nobody was supposed to know what was in that thing, man. Vildor got the hands of the princess. They have Artolia in the palm of their hand. You knew all this? I'd have been quite happy to kill a stinking knave. <laughs> but I've got more important <laughs> things to do. I love that line. <laughs> uh, Grim. It hurts. Help me. That's Save not, me. That, that, that's not good. What's going on here? What? What is going on here? Oh, the Swain Valkyrie profile, that Parasite Eve? What the what just happened? She turned into a monster. Oh, man. What the heck just happened? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what? I don't remember this. Hey, what the heck is that? Hey, ha, 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 help us. Hey, what's going on? Jelanda. Um, because the princess was unconscious, uh, the captain told us to give her this medicine that I got from Lombard. Isn't that the princess? Lombard was playing two hands. He knew the abduction would be discovered, so he sent some medicine along with the search party. If we made it all the way to Vilnor, no problem. But if we were discovered, the cavalry would use the medicine. Oh, to turn the princess into a monster. The princess would be unconscious if she was found. 
Oh, that traitorous. Was as you see. The princess became a monster, and afterwards all were dead. Wow. That is messed up. Perhaps even the princess. That is so messed up. And that's exactly what happens when somebody drinks gold powder. Gold powder? Yeah. It turns a person into a howling demon. Necromancers do this stuff all the time. Wait, Lumbert's a necromancer? Lumbert is a necromancer? Yeah, that, that's exactly what I said. Like when the protagonists are on the same page. Oh my god. Angela. A Angela? You mean Jelanda? Ah, what are you talking about? It's time we get back to Artolia. It's getting out of here. I see ya! Sniveling knave. Maybe he made the right choice. Yeah, maybe he did. Left is always right, but, but I wasn't going to run. Heck no. Even on the field of battle, I never felt like this. Heck yeah, we are. But what will become of Jolanda? Only one thing we can do, I guess. Hey, the Valkyrie showed up. Stop this. Human, life is not something to be thrown away. If you are a true warrior, you will find a path in the maelstrom of battle. The Battle Maiden Valkyrie. Who hadn't heard the tales of the endless war the gods wage with the creatures of darkness? God, I miss that. Oh, I miss that so much. Alright, let's do this. Um, Freya pops up, I believe. Yes. Sort of do remember that. It's kind of strange how our brains work. Freya's so cool. Just teleporting around. Untouchable. She's like a level 99 and we're like level 1s. I mean, look at that HP difference. She has like 60,000 HP. For some reason though, she hits kind of like a wet noodle though. Fortune that I felt myself to be strong. That's right. I who was myself without morals. Mm. Who was I to judge others? Who was I to look down on them? Injustice. I began to realize that the king and I were very much the same. Delanda. Thought you might show up sooner or later. 
You really should have just run away. It will avail you nothing to cause a disturbance here, young man. Maybe not, but I'll sure as hell avail me to smash your face in. I see. Well, hmm, I'm grim. You may be a genius on the battlefield, but when it comes to high arts, you know little. You realize that you are already dead. What? Magic, Arngrim. Ha <laughs> ha let me show you. Erg. continue to live or by being chosen by me yet yeah, one thing does strike me as odd I'd have believed it if you went away but could a human really have defeated a ghoul I can't imagine What? Ah, oh, now I understand. We have a little conspiracy here, don't we? Conspiracy, heh. <laughs> I hear you're the expert on that subject. Defilers, souls, your sins lay heavy upon you. First see some magic in this game. And just like before, we're just gonna take this guy out. Can't really do much right now except the basic of basic combos. Just get two hits every time and move on. Prepare yourself, verbal scum. But now we just killed the High Chancellor. These slipshod soldiers think they can call me rebel scum. Oh. Look, friend, don't expect me to do you any favors. I'm not going to die. I guess they don't have much use for heroes with two strength up in Asgard, eh? Ha ha ha. Being glorious human, strength is not everything. Hmm, you want to talk, geek death goddess. Impudent fool, Valkyrie is not a goddess of the dark. Such words will result in your certain death. Oh, that's not Lennon, that's, yeah, that's Jolanda. Uh, Angela. Eh, you, you know. Hehehe. <laughs> I see. So you're safe, little one. I have one question. Aren't you just a death goddess? A, d a god of death is merely responsible for the suffering out of lives. I, however, could show you the path. <laughs> path? Yes. However, you must walk it on your own. Stop this pointless slaughter! Old man. Angrim, will you truly raise arms against me? Do I have any regrets? Oh, no. Why did 
did you save me? Consider it a gift. It seems we'll be spending quite a bit of time together. That it does, little one. Quite a bit indeed. It says by name, it says by nature. Fate can indeed be a true, mi a cruel mistress. What is it? Nothing. Let us take leave up here. Next. Yes. Even the song of steel must first be tempered, yes? To send them to Asgard directly would only be a death sentence. Concentrate once again. You should be able to feel the presence of the undead as well. When you hear this music, that means we found a dungeon to be explored. And the first dungeon is going to be the Artolian Mountain Ruins. Yes, I feel them. They are nearby. Let us go and see. Woohoo! Alright. Artolian Mountain Ruins. Artolian Ruins lie in the northern hills. The massive stoneworks have eroded over the years, and their hulking forms peer eerily out from a depth from a deep blanket of fog. A burned bonfire now burns there, and an eerie screaming sound can be heard each night. Period two. Period is the time units in this game. Since we're in the prologue, uh, it doesn't matter. But later, that's going to come into play. I sense an enemy. Yes, there is one. Lenneth, are you ready? I can accompany you through this ruin, but when you leave this place, I must return to Asgard. Yes. She's basically like a god mode. Look at this, Lenneth. This is the memory camp. Yep. Uh, tools can be created in dungeon only in memory camp. I don't remember that. I think you understand, but eating souls is a desecration of the dead. Having mercy on the undead is useless. Enough, let's go. And I always destroy everything. Yeah! Alright, so... Let's first look at configuration. Uh, tech speed is max. Window bright looks good. Yeah, that, I thought it looked fine. Okay. Um, equipment. Antler sword, Nibelung ring. A ring bestowed upon Valkyrie by Odin, showing his faith in her. If it is removed, Valkyrie's evaluation value is reduced. It may have other powers or compensations. Uh, darkness minus damage minus 50%. Yeah, this will come into play later, and we'll talk about that later. Uh, Two-handed sword. Uh, ether freeze. God, I wish I... I wish I could unequip stuff. Dang it! Wish I could unequip her stuff. Necklace which brings disaster upon its wearer. However, the goddess Freya imbued it with her own power to supplement its negative energy. Yeah, we can't remove her items, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we really don't need to do anything else here. As far as everything else goes, I mean, again, this is the prologue. So, I, I think we're pretty good to resume. Just gotta get used to the buttons. Music is so good. To fight the enemy, fight, face the enemy and brandish his sword. Any contact means a fight, but you never know who will hit first. Brandish sword with X. And what you can do is you can, um... Don't know if I like that, by the way. Because... I kind of want, um... Can I change this? I kind of want, um, the crystal to be triangle and camp to be square. Oh, shoot, what did I just do? Uh, I just canceled something by doing that. Jump, circle, crystal, camp. Um, message cut. Okay. I like this better. Because now I can do an attack or a crystal with my uh, 
with my button on uh, the jump button. To my side, my noble oh, I missed that message so much. We're fine. We got this. And when you do enough combo hits, you gotta do things like this. said so much to stand against a god such is your reward i may say why didn't argrim do his special one day i must face bronze and the answer to that is uh because he missed because the enemy was popped up in the air and i mistimed it so yeah i missed yeah. wait there's a map button as well which one's a map button Uh, configure minimap is R. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I can probably continue along here. I want to check out the other area first. Now, what you kind of want to do is you want to hit it when it's in the air. Because if you hit it when it's in the air, um, you get like crystals which give you extra experience. No reason to over nuke a dead corpse. Their souls have been released. At least I don't think so. I don't think you can get anything extra when uh, when that happens. Let me go back the other way. Because there was a uh, another door and left is always right so you should always you know do this door first is what i'm trying to say always oh, guarding a chest or a bag same thing let's check out the contents of the bag it's possible that there could be something useful inside uh yep open to chest got it to my side my noble i'm here no mercy okay so this one i probably don't want to um, let's just have her kill it. Didn't go as planned. I thought she would kill it in one shot. Oh, nice dodge. Now, I can't use Jelanda's ability because on the bottom right you see the red where it says CT, that's charge time. So her ability can only be used once every other turn. One issue with mages. Did you think you could defeat me? I, I think it's always good to have a mage, though. They can do some cool things. Find an eye of heaven. What is that too? Gotta remember about what finds do what. Um, eye of heaven, a gem which enables you to see areas of the current dungeon which they have not yet visited. That's cool. I don't need that right now, though. This is just pretty straightforward, if I remember correctly. Uh, revised characters from a consciousness. Uh, spectacles allows you to see an enemy weak point, and elixir restores DME, which is uh, your health. Oh, I forgot about this. You can, um, yeah, you can use crystals to climb on things. And you can also make it so they, like, explode. Yeah. This will come in handy later. Ah, the music's so good. On the iron bar key. Should let me unlock a door somewhere. As soon as I figure out where the door is. Probably back this way. Right here. I don't know how I missed this. I ran right by it. Lenneth, I think you can use a key here. Please take a look at those iron bars. 
Yeah, I think what happened was I was focused on the enemy and I kind of missed the, the cell. Uh, different levels, yes. Or, or you can, you know, instead of climbing down the ladder, just leap down. To my side, my noble Einherjar. Hmm, these beasts will be a good test. That could have gone better. I need to learn the uh, the proper way to combo. Oh, he fainted him. Oh, he's got like no HP left though. Oh, got a ricochet there. Got a couple crystals. Fantastic. Uh, what do the crystals do again? Uh, I think it's related to experience. I'm not entirely sure. Someone help me out with that. It's weird how your brain remembers some things, but not other things. I think it's because I played the, uh, the, um, we won't be able to eat up, get up there by jumping. Let's build some crystals as well. Okay. Yep. So here's where they tell us how to use crystals. What you can also do, I believe, is break these down. Oh, I forgot about dashing. Which button do I press? Oh, there we go. So you can actually stack crystals. On top of each other to give yourself even more height like this so now I have a little bit more height and you can only have three crystals at a time so it allows you to get higher than what you could do originally um, yes and you can also pause enemies by using crystals as well but then you'll get experience so when you're playing on hard you kind of need experience Do I want to go that way yet? Let's check down here first. The treasure chest over there. See that treasure chest? Can you take it? Oh, it's gonna it's gonna have a trap, isn't it? A trap has been set on that chest. There are three main types of traps. There are different ways to avoid different types of traps. You can jump, crouch down, or leave. But which one is the best here? For the time being, I recommend leaving as quickly as possible. Okay, so let me take out this enemy on the bottom first. Waited too long for that. What do those orbs do? Are those orbs um, HP restores? Or time boosters? I'm sure. I am Freya. Recall the name on your journey to hell. I love the voice hack in this game. Uh, no, it's still... I have a charge time. So I do not know what the, uh, the other orbs do. Oh, that one hurt. Jerk. And by the way, if I'm saying anything wrong or I'm playing wrong, please let me know. My brain is going on... Many, 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 many years of knowledge. So it may not be perfect. I forgot we could pick up chess. Ooh, that wasn't good. How do I... No, I want you to get that. How do I... There we go. Got a vegetable seed. Okay, so... I can drop it with the A button. I can throw it with the, uh... I can drop it with the circle button. I can throw it like that. Okay, cool. Down in X. Book of Everlasting Life. Okay, apparently there was no trap because I threw the thing down and I booked the trap. I, I mean, I guess that's one way to do things, right? What does the Book of Everlasting Life do? 
Uh, a book, a regular book of it my small foolish man, it has no value. Oh, thanks, so why do I have it? Now let's go left, the left is always right. So you see you can uh, freeze enemies. I thought you could push them too. Guess not. To my side, my noble Einherjar. No mercy. I love Ether Strike. I mean, how do you, how can you not like this? And that's amazing. It only does one hit though, so it's not really good for combos. But if you use that last, it'll probably do a ton of damage. Get thee hence. Oblivion awaits thee. Alright, moving on. I didn't want to do that. We'll just go this way first. Ooh, three enemies. Did not kill. So cool. I love the special moves in this game. Here comes the pain. Oh, nice dodge. Another nice dodge. Good job, team. No faint, that's unfortunate. Wow, our team is doing really well here. How do I enter and I've got? No, that's not it. Um there we go. So I can use items, equip, magic. Yeah, I can um I can do this to do some really cool stuff. So fuel is really, really nice. That can save your butt in a lot of places. Firestorm is great uh, when you use just as a normal spell. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to kiss all the menu and I hit it twice. My bad. Not like I really need to heal anyway though. I was hoping to use her uh, firestorm as a combo. We got a gem. Cool. One day I must face Brahms. You know what's weird is uh I, I, I wanted to uh when I realized I couldn't play this game, I wanted to uh watch someone let's play it. And uh Oh! Okay, that's basically the game telling me there's enemies there, there's something straight up. But I wa I watched someone who uh started up this game. And whenever I go to watch someone, the first thing I do is see, you know, do they, do they say the lines of dialogue? Um, because there's people who just like mash quickly through it and just get to the gameplay. Um, you know, I love the story, so I want to hear the story. Uh, but two, I also want to see the uh, the fight sequences. And for me, I'm not gonna show everything in this game. If there's things that we repeat. Like, if I go through this dungeon again to try to, like, strengthen a character or something, I'm not going to show that off because you'll have, you'll already have seen it. However, uh, when I went looking to try to see a uh, Let's Play This Game, I couldn't find anyone who kept the combats in. It's, it's like they showed the first combat in the dungeon, and then after that, they cut out all the other combats. And the combat in this game is so much fun. It's it's part of the it's part of the enjoyment you have with it. So to not see the combat, you know, it's it's just not the same in my opinion. Ah, oh, I missed with uh, I missed with Arngrim's overhand or overhead. They were no match for us. How far do we have to go for a level up here? I don't remember. It's so hard. Uh, to, I'm, I'm so used to pressing start for options. Uh, status. Okay, our seal value is at 98 already, wow. Um, I think that's because we recruited a character. When a recruited character goes down by 2. I'll explain seal value later. Once I understand it. 
because I don't really understand it yet. A one of three guys fate whose role is to decide a person's fate after death. A mid-level goddess is sixth rank. Her true name is Val Lenneth Valkyrie. And um, you can see her stats there. She's a Tozer of the Slain. Uh, very resistant to totally. No skills yet. Uh, we have Arngrim. A mercenary from the Artolia region, busted with the two warriors' prowess and a good measure of luck. His sword fight technique is unmatched. In battle, he fights as a demon possessed, slicing through foes like a scythe with right wheat. Great description there. His hero values negative 101. Yeah. Basically, you never want to send this guy up uh, because he's not hero material. Uh, venerated as a goddess of fertility, Freya appears as a beautiful young blonde woman. However, she is second only to Odin in terms of true power, commanding power over life as well as death. And you can see her stats are, I mean, off the chain. It's amazing she does just one shot everything, you know? Uh, Chalanda. First Princess of Atolia. Behind a pure sweet image lies a pampered princess with a heart of steel and a razor sharp tongue. Her hero value is at a negative 41 right now, so she's not also a good hero. Okay, let's go ahead and climb up this. Climb all the way up this. All the way up this. Wow. There we go. That took a while. Oh, a really, a colored chest. Explosion. Find an angel curio. Savory. Quartz gem. Nightshade. Okay, let's see what those items do. Um, Nightshade. Uh, her witch causes illusions. Apparently is used in magic ceremonies. Quartz gem. Increases CP by 20. Um, purify his body, CP by 20. Don't know what CP is yet. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game. There are a lot of things I don't remember. Okay. These beasts will be a good test. Like I said, I gotta remember the options is like um, the left side of the touchpad. Okay, so if you go to magic, I believe this has a different type of firestorm. Yeah. The one problem though is it's kind of hard to chain. And it looks like I can use her immediately after too, which is nice. So I can cast Firestorm and then I can use Firestorm. No matter how many are defeated, more appeal. Okay, we're almost to level up. I think uh, one more kill will get us there. He's riding a little boat. To my side, my noble No mercy. So I think I should probably go back the other way, since I probably missed a few things. One down. And let's do it again. I don't think I have enough to kill this thing, though. I don't think Freya can do it. Oh, wow, she did. Excellent. <laughs> did you think you could defeat me? Level up. Fantastic. Okay, there's a chest up there. Whoa! All right, well, that was a little tricky. I gotta go back. It's like a rod. Element Scepter.
When I'm imbued with the power of elements, 50% chance of breaking. Allows wheels to perform great magic, but cannot endure the power yields. Wow, that's really, really good. Probably don't want to use it yet, though. Because it can break. Okay, I need to wait for this thing to come back. Also, should check out my map. Yeah, the map gets a little complicated because of all the uh, XYZs. Drop down here. Jump over. To my side, my noble I'm I think we're close to the boss. Yeah, I think those things reduce your wait time. Oh, I can't use her now. That's interesting. All right, let me through. Get thee hence. Oblivion awaits thee. <sighs> the voice lines are great. Why don't more games have like awesome voice lines like that when you defeat an enemy? So, like I said, one thing I'll do is one thing I remember doing. Wow, completely missed all this bird. One thing I do remember doing is like going through this starting dungeon like many, many times during the game because these are the weakest enemies and you're more likely to be able to field a team of level ones. Of course, you know, Valkyrie is not... Valkyrie is not going to be level one, you know, she'll be whatever her level is, but at the same time, you know, it is... It is tricky to get through these areas. Firelands! This is a book of spells. Book of spells. Yes, it's a book written about research, so it's such magical spells. You can learn new spells by reading this book. In this world, there are many books we found where ways of fighting and other things are described, in addition to books about magic. From these writings, you could acquire knowledge on many matters that you could not have obtained otherwise from experiences on the battlefront. Magic skills are acquired when you use certain items. The skill is a single item that can be acquired by anyone, however, magic can only be acquired by one person only. So, when you get a skill book, use the skill book. When you get a magic book, use it only on one person. Okay, so there's something up there, but I can't get up there. Yeah, they, they, and those are bars. No way you can get up there from here. Check the map. Okay. So it looks like we did probably go this uh, the right way first. Looks like there's spikes down there. That's why I don't want to fall down this pit, because I don't trust this pit. Oh! See? Don't try to trust this pit! Uh, still learning controls, that's for sure. Okay, um... What is that life like at falling down there? Uh, it only hurt us marginally. Yeah, it didn't really hurt us that bad, so that's cool. Have we been in here? Yes, we've been in there. Uh, rotate. I don't want to. It's not rotate. Oh, triangle. I don't know. Okay, let's see here. So that way was the big way we went. We definitely want to go back up here. Take it this is the right way because there's an enemy here. No mercy. And because we did not get first attack, Yolanda is not um uh, she's she's not ready to attack in this instant. I could use fire lance on Yolanda, but I like fire storm. Because firestorm firestorm can pop enemies up. I 
And I do like that. See how useful the mage can be there. Just so good. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, good. I was like, no way you survive with like one hit point. No way. I need it. Ah, uh, got no pistols from that? Come on. I thought I had him in the air. He's still, wait, wait, he's still survived? I thought he died. My bad. Should have, uh, Soul crushed him, or whatever the move is called. Easy work for a god. Someone got a break? I think we can topple this pillar then. Go ahead and try. Yep, someone got a break. Okay, press you don't succeed. Try, try again, apparently. Cinematics are really cool too. Right, 500 event experience. No idea what that does. You can also get experience points from special actions that did not occur in the course of battle. These experience points can be saved up in the experience orb and can be freely given out to any of the heroes. Oh, okay. So, what I can do is I can take a new hero um, that's like level 1, and I can. I can give them experience. Ah! So that means I don't need to, um. I don't necessarily need to grind uh, every character I get. As long as I have some experience orb saved up, I can just give them experience. Cool! I like it! I like it a lot! It's like this game thought of everything. Like, you know, if you're playing on hard mode. Right here? Yes, this is new. Thought that guy was gonna follow me there for a second. There's a chest there. The way to go here. So let's go this way first. What is this? Oh, that's the that's the pillar. Ah! Cause I knocked down the pillar. Now I can go that way. Okay. I see. I see. Very clever. Like I said, this first episode is gonna be long, mainly because I want to go through, um, I want to go through the story and the, uh, the, uh, the, the dungeon. Because I really want to play this game, y'all. Like, so badly, I want to play this game. I want to, I want to just do nothing but play this game. But since I'm playing with you all, um, that means I can only play a certain amount of time each day. And, uh, I want to make the most of that time, that is for sure. There we go. That was a good combo. Well, they were rather annoying. Let's get the chest. Vegetable seed. I might bow with ladders. Can't seem to can't seem to do that on the ladder though. There we go. Who needs a ladder? Yeah, who needs a ladder anyway? Okay, so I don't want to go to the, uh, down there just yet. So I don't want to go this way. Okay, I need to go somewhere different than that. How do I get way over there? Ow! Find a vegetable seed. Ow! Maybe I can. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, game. That's just trolling me at this point.
Yeah, so I use my sparkle to launch me. I need to be on top of the chest, I think. I did it once. If I can do it once, I can do it a second time. There we go. What's this? Uh, treasure church. I will do that a lot. Press the wrong button. Angel Curio. He has a holder of unconscious. Okay, so this is like an auto revive, but it can break. Cool. Uh, only Valkyrie can equip it. Ring wears, uh, more the present of presence of treasure. When equipped, a blue mark will appear. Okay, let's, um... Or is the way to go? Are we here? Couldn't see the stairs very well. Oh, these guys can drop down. Okay. To my side, my noble I'm here, yard. This won't be easy. I'm gonna be starting to get more confident, it seems. Finishing strike. Such a cool move. Special moves in this game are just phenomenal. <laughs> Dead already? I know people think FF7 when you think of uh, special moves or FF8, but I mean, this game does it really, really well. And the best thing is, you can use this special move almost any time, really. As long as you have a. Uh... Easy work for a god. Well, you can't use it almost any time, but what I'm saying is you can use it basically every battle at least once. So I could, I could slide under that. The guy's gonna drop on me. Yep. Haha, uh -huh. I saw you coming. I saw you coming. You thought you were gonna trick me, didn't you? But you did not. Okay, maybe I'll take care of two here. Excellent. Let's take this guy out as well. As expected, we are the victors. Okay, what was up here? Why do I keep falling off ladders? Take this guy out first before I do anything else. To my side, my noble I'm hmm. This won't be easy. Oh, I'm still doing fine though, as far as HP goes. I mean, yeah, yeah, this is good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That was too easy. What's next? Okay, let's see what's... Continue to go up first. Okay, that that looks to me like a uh, boss room. So let me go on the other side here. Just an enemy just chilling out down here. He's like, why are you attacking me? I, I wasn't even bothering you. These beasts will be a good test. I mean, I, I was just sitting here chilling, minding my own business, and these guys just come up to me and start beating on me for no reason. I grow tired of you. Finishing strike. Final blast. Final blast is such a no cool move. Problem. All the moves are great. Ooh. Because he sidestepped one, he was able to block the other one. That worked out really well. Ooh. Ooh. Valkyrie just taking shots to the face. Um, what I would like to do here...
I mean, since we know the boss room is right next door, or at least assuming that's the boss room, uh, I want to make sure I'm at my tippy top piece right. Ooh, fainted. Cool. Let's take him out, guys. Perfect. Go into the boss room, fully charged, fully rested, ready to go. Okay, so it was nothing this way then. Well, it looks like there may be something over there. I, I didn't even think I could go through that wall. I didn't think I need to use all four to kill him. I was thinking only three could, and then I could use the, uh, the other one to, uh... Ah, uh, I missed with, uh... I missed with someone. I'm not sure who I missed with, but... That wasn't by me my best attack, I, I will admit. God, I love Ether Strike. <laughs> and Freya, that is have been released. We have no reason to remain here. So you see that blue thing swelling about me, that means it was an item. So now the blue thing's away, so I know there's no more items here. Cool, I, I like that. Now I'll be able to easily tell if there's um an item in the area. How about over here? Is there anything? Okay, so that is okay. Never mind. I just want to make sure there wasn't another way to go right, but I don't think there is. It's not the right way. Let's go all the way over here. If I can climb a ladder. There we go. And it's boss time. Alright, well, I know I said I want to clear an entire dungeon, but I may have to put a stop here considering that I'm almost going on two hours. I, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. If, uh, if you like what you saw, this is the first video in a new playlist, so I just humbly ask we can just hit that like button uh, to help this playthrough get, um, get some notice. And I want to thank you all for joining me. A special thank you to ChinnaQT and Techno Trouble, our wonderful, amazing Patreon supporters of the channel. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, link is in the description below. Uh, but for now, my dear friends, I just wanted to say that it, I am so excited to be playing this game again, and I can't wait to play more. I just want to keep playing, and I had to tell myself to stop, uh, because this is just going to be a fabulous adventure, and hopefully you guys join me in it. And until next time, my dear friends, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts, but before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.